Hey everyone, this is Reggie. As we get into the holidays, um, I start looking back at you know what has happened you know during the year. The holidays means oh it's a fun time definitely, but it also means that we are getting to the end of the year. And during this time of the year, I look back as I do journaling, so I get to kind of remember and reminisce what has happened in the past year. I like doing that to, you know, to look at the positives, um, you know, be grateful for what we have. And also for some of the mistakes and failures that, you know, has happened and to learn from them. I like doing that kind of like as an, uh, an audit or a self-check. And boy, this year really has been, uh, I think you agree, has been something else. It's it's one of the um, craziest times. Oh, I th I I think it's the craziest time I've ever been in in my whole life. Um, but looking back into what has happened uh, during the year, I want to share with you uh, what you know uh, what my thoughts are. I shared that with the uh, with the staff uh, just yesterday when we had our Christmas party, and I want to share this with everyone also. Uh, this year has been crazy. It's been tough for almost everyone. I think everyone really uh, has been affected. You can be rich, you can be poor, uh, can be a king, queen, uh, doesn't matter. Everyone is affected. But this year I have learned quite a bit of things. Uh, and like from kind of thinking back January, we're all very upbeat. We were gonna launch our weight loss program uh, here at Russell Plus in the clinic. We you know, were preparing for that since last year. Then COVID hit. And when COVID hit, for the first time ever, Russell Plus had to close. We closed for a month. Uh, we couldn't get any PPEs at that time. Uh, people were concerned. But then, you know, we survived, we opened, uh, we did what we, you know, had to do to secure all supplies, have our procedures uh, to keep everybody safe, keep the patient safe, keep ourselves and our family safe. So that's, you know, it, that has been uh, kind of like a, a triumph for us there, being able to, to open up again after a month. And yes, things have been slow together with, uh, you know, just like any other business, but, you know, people have been supportive of us. People have been appreciative of, you know, all our efforts and people have been, uh, you know, you guys have been the reason why we're still here. And that's something that I'm truly, truly grateful for. And now, you know, as we head into the new year, we have new hopes that it's gonna be a better year. Uh, we have the vaccine that came out already. Definitely, that's uh, you know a bright light uh, that gets everybody to be very hopeful. Uh, as the you know, next year may be the year that things will become uh, like normal again, maybe like a new normal, as people are saying. So it's, it has been a roller coaster ride for us this year, and I want to you know thank you. Thank everyone in the community. Uh, I'm very grateful for the staff, everybody who has been, you know, supportive, and have helped us survive, you know, and still continue to survive and, and keep our doors open, so that we may be able to help, you know, maybe help you, your loved ones, your family, we may be able to help the community to uh, get back to what they love to do. You know, and overcome their their pains, their injuries, their weaknesses, and also for helping us keep our doors open, so that our families, you know, will have security. Our families will have, um, you know, income and be able to uh, look and you know look forward to you know what the next year has to bring. So, overall, I want to say you know thank you very much, and you know that's kind of what I've been thinking about over the past couple of days and I just want to share you know that you know those thoughts with you uh, all right uh, I wish everyone a very happy holiday a healthy and safe one and I'll see you next time bye